this assignment, you have to implement a four-digit key press counter with persistence using external E square PROM. So, as soon as the board is powered up or reset, the counter should display four zeros on SSDs. On every key press, the counter value should increment by one. On a long key press, the count should reset to zero. On pressing store switch, the current count should be stored in external E square PROM. On subsequent power ups or reset, the counter should start from the previous stored value in E square PROM. You should have knowledge on input output port, tactile switch, SSD, and E square PROM. The objective of this assignment is to learn and understand the basic working of the port that is how to configure the port pins as input and output, how to configure the port pins as digital. Interfacing LED with microcontroller, working of LED that is concepts of current sourcing and current syncing, interfacing SSDs to microcontroller, working of SSDs its types like common anode and cathode, creating SSD fonts based on provided hardware, interfacing tactile switch to microcontroller as active low or active high, tactile switch bouncing effect and how to avoid it, level trigger input, interfacing SSDs to microcontroller, working of SSDs, its types like common anode and cathode, creating SSD fonts based on the provided hardware, E square PROM data read and write implementation. The inputs required for this assignment are DKS1 as count input, DKS1 long press to reset the count, DKS2 store input. Please note to use program cycles to implement the above program. A program cycle is the time taken to execute all the instructions from the start to the end of the super loop.